So change of plans. We decided after Grandfather Mountain that we were going to drive some of the Blue Ridge, head up to Blowing Rock, and then go into Boone just a little bit. And uh, I think visit the post office there because we need to visit the post office and apparently it's a historic building too. And then uh, go to the grocery store and head back home. And our first stop is going to be Lynn Cove. That's the overlook. What did you think of Blowing Rock? What did I think of it? Well, the city. We're getting to Blowing Rock right here. It's a beautiful little city. Oh my goodness. It was really, really pretty. Yes, it was. <laughs> I'm super close to you right now. <laughs> it was. Nate said it was like a Hilton Head in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. Hilton Head was a beautiful beach town in South Carolina and this is a beautiful mountain town. Oh my goodness this is so pretty you guys you should have seen some of the houses um, off the side of the cliff that had the gorgeous views oh my gosh I just can't even imagine really really cool so we're getting ready to go in here to see what blowing rocks all about I read a little bit about it and it sounds like it's got an interesting story to it so here we go This view would never get old to me. We were just talking to a lady inside who said that her family grew up like in this area. They have a house about a mile down the road. And I was about ready to ask her if she wanted company for dinner tonight. <laughs> you want a brother from another mother? <laughs> Somebody's got a pretty gorgeous view right there, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. That's just so pretty. Pretty incredible place here. That the views are just, absolutely stunning. Just pretty, like I was saying to you too, hun, is it's all like it looks like it's like maintained and all like perfect. Perfect trees, like Nothing's overtaken by like vines or overgrowth or it's just like picturesque, perfect. Look at that one on the rock there. Oh wow. Oh my god. I didn't even notice that. I wonder if he's stuck. He has his back legs to push. To jump off of the water? I don't know. He still has his back legs to push. Is he going to dive? I don't know. Because it looks like he's trying to move. Holy moly. He's huge. Oh my gosh. Because he looks like he's stuck on a shell underneath. Don't hear any there's no wind today though so we don't hear that howling sound from the blowing rock but that's okay we still got the gorgeous views
bring the mosquito thing up here. <laughs> that just like your nose, doesn't it? Yeah. excited. <laughs> We're ready. Our first zip lining. It's, it's probably just a natural instinct to want to squeeze it. Is that a little tight? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, my one. Good to wake your and go ahead. Here we go. I can rest now, right? Good to go, yes sir. Perfect pose, nice. perfect break. I like it. <laughs> it's 307 feet tall. And I saw it in your eyes. You're like, how many marshmallows is that? There's 3,582 marshmallows stacked up from the valley floor. You can check my math on that. Okay, <laughs> so does everybody want to look down this wire right here? Do you notice how as soon as you leave this platform, you're kind of in a hallway of trees? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other side's very similar. So oh it goes gosh. platform, hallway of trees, valley, hallway of trees, platform. I want everybody to tuck the second they leave this platform through the first hallway of trees, all the way across the valley. And when you're surrounded by trees the second time, untuck and start looking for my signals. I didn't tell you to start breaking because it's gonna depend on how much wind, how tight of a tuck you have, if I'm gonna give you a come on or a slow down. You ready? Glad you said you would go uh, first. I, yes and no. <laughs> Everybody wanna. Super warm. Have fun. So just stay like this yes, and Yes, Perfect. You got it. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, Not too far. Yeah, very cool. Is this the uh, longest one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it is. JL on line four. All right. See you guys on the other side. <laughs> What'd you think, James? That's so cool, oh my gosh. The views, too bad you guys couldn't see the views on that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think it came out pretty good. It was like this. <laughs> that was really cool. Yeah, it we was. We were going fast. Well, if you want, I'm not taking photos. Uh -huh. If you want to go over the next one, if you want, I can use one of my hands to hold that. Oh my gosh. Around if you huh. That's so awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here all week. Okay, break on break break okay turn around there you go 
Like I said, a little quicker, a little quicker. Oh, I can step up on that box right there. Uh, Maybe. I'm trying to use my abs. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'm going to get you to duck under my wire tail. This is so oh, awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you have a pretty cool job. Oh, yeah. I can't complain at all. I'm getting better and better. Uh, that's, that's what I'm hoping for. You're going to be a professional by the last one. Really cool. Awesome, awesome, folks. This is Sky Valley Swinging Bridge of Doom. You can get across this bridge. You can get across this bridge many ways. You can walk across it. You can cry across it. You can even crawl across it. We only ask you to not run across it or jump across it. That damages the platform. We're trying to make the platforms last as long as possible. You can hold on to a many a thing. You can go from white rope to white rope. You can hold on to this wire up here if you can reach it. You can even hold on to your wide tails. We only ask you to not stick your head through it. Choking hazard. Wrap a limb up in it. Limb losing hazard. Hold on together. If you're feeling up for the no hand challenge here at Sky Valley, you can make it across this bridge in less than a minute without using your hands, your elbows, your rear end, or anything like that. You win the grand prize of a lifetime supply of free high fives from Hunter and myself. <laughs> Those babies are going like hotcakes on eBay right now, so you better hop on it when you can. If you're not doing the no hand challenge, take a second and look upstream and downstream. It's the most serene place on the whole property. If you're doing the no hand challenge, you probably don't got time for that. I'll take photos in nature and you can look at them later. Um, so whenever Hunter is ready, he will send you across this bridge. Whoa. 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 <laughs> of course, I gotta take the <laughs> Oh my way. god. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't do it. I'll give the Hey, Osmo. What'd you think of the zip lining? Zip was line? amazing. <laughs> it was so awesome. I'm definitely glad that uh, we never went in the valley, even though I'm sure it's still fun. But to be in a place like this uh, for your first time was pretty awesome. Yeah. And the guides were just great. Great. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was yes. like an hour and a half. Our group was small. Yeah. So it was only four Jamie, people uh, and two other people mm -hmm. other than myself. But it was really fun. It was. Lots Look of fun. Look at that view behind you, Jane. Up top. Wow. Is that where we were yesterday? No. Oh my goodness. It's well, pretty. and the view behind us. So we are, this is the Lynn Cove Viaduct. So uh, we're going to walk alongside it here and try and get the epic shot that. Yeah, the most photographed. Uh, area on the Blue Ridge Parkway, Parkway. Mm -hmm. so we've heard. Well, let's go.
So we're getting ready to head into Linville Falls, right? First hike, uh, which is a very easy minor hike. For, for Blue. Blue. Since the surgery. Since we heard back from the doctor. The dogs are going to come with and see some waterfall. So as you can see, Blue actually moves pretty good. He's been able to move pretty good for a while. But we pretty much just got the clear to slowly resume normal activity. So now, Four Life Adventures is... Four Life Adventures again. Yay! <laughs> Easy, blue, 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 blue. Hold on, Blue. Hold on. Easy, Bubby. Easy, Bubs. You gotta stay. There's Mama's. Hey, hey, hey. Easy, Blue. Easy, Blue. Easy. Up here. Up here. Come on. Good boy. Hi, Rubes. There's our home. Down by the river. It's a beautiful campground, guys. If you are ever in the area, <laughs> and if there are any spots, because the lady said about two-thirds of these spots are full-timers here, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous little spot to be. Very nice campground. So this is it. We're leaving our most favorite place ever. This has been such a wonderful park down by the river. Yes, it has been. Even just hanging out, chilling at the park has been awesome. Yeah. Listening to the river water. I mean, it's just, this area is incredible. And I hope we get to come back one day. So we found a house we want to buy here. Yeah. <laughs> we did. We'll miss those views, but we'll probably have some pretty good views at uh, Mama Gertie's there in Asheville. Yeah. But, uh, That's where we're headed. It's just an hour kind of southwest of here. And Mama Gertie's is just right outside Asheville. So that's where we're going to head to next. So we're pretty excited about that. Yeah. On to the next place, but this will always be in our memories. Yes, it will. We'll miss you down by the river.